Today I'm going to try a different operating system on my Pine 64 single board computer. This comes from a fan request. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, today we are going to try Ubuntu. Uh, I believe the original request was did I create or how did I create the um, new operating system? How did I copy it to the uh, micro SD? And I believe he was interested in did I use Ubuntu to create it? Uh, now I used uh, Windows 10. My Ubuntu laptop is an old netbook and it is struggling to download these files so I just went to my Windows 10 computer. Um, I have a USB to SD. I just pop that in there. And this is the micro SD that came with it. Um, I am using uh, this, this original SD came with the Android operating system and um, this is all you need to do. Slip this into your computer and then I'll go over the steps it took for me to put the operating system onto here. And then I have um, created it and inserted Ubuntu in this slot right here. The micro SD that I purchased uh, at Best Buy was actually more than the entire Pine 64 and SD that came with it um, by about $5 more. This is a $15 board. I paid uh, $25 for the SD card alone. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I also noticed when uh, I've been struggling with uh, this flat screen monitor, uh, the LCD, um, and when I put the Ubuntu on, it just shut the board down. I, don't, I have a cabling problem. So I will work on that uh, at a later date with the Android. I've downloaded the operating system. I have not tried it yet. And today I am also testing the Ethernet port uh, because when I turned on the Ubuntu, it did not immediately find the Wi-Fi as the Android did. Uh, so let me readjust the camera and I'll show you what uh, Ubuntu looks like on the boot. All right, let's start this up. Ubuntu is loading. There are a couple of versions to download. I've tried uh, two of them. Uh, one came from Pine64 and another was a user's uh, additional uh, image. And I found that the one that came from Pine64 was really basic. Um, I didn't really feel like uh, going through all the steps. Uh, Ubuntu was not the system that I was planning to use on this card. Uh, like I said, this was uh, just for a fan request, so I will... Um, not really work on this very long. But since it's here, I will show you what I did to create this operating system. Just go to Pine64 Wiki. All right, right off the main page, it'll give you instructions, all the steps that you need um, on how to make uh, one of these chips. Uh, you just download the operating system that you like. Um, I just, for my uh, Windows PC, I just downloaded uh, 7-Zip, which I did not have, and Win32 Disk Imager, which I did not have. And with those two programs, I just download uh, the operating system of my choice. I unzip it, uh, creates a new file, 
With that file, I use Win32 Disk Imager. It copies it to the, the SD that I will have plugged into my computer. And it really is as easy as that. Now, I have downloaded several uh, versions, and some of them weren't working as I expected. But if you go to software image up here, software image download, instead of from the original page. Um, I tried this one. Uh, it takes quite a long time to download now because I have a slow internet and like I said it was really basic it didn't have much going on um, and I didn't feel like uh, spending the time to do all the updates and whatnot and I found uh, this one done by Michael Larson um, I downloaded that and uh, it only creates an 8 gigabyte drive out of my 64 gigabyte chip but um, uh, apparently there's a way to uh, increase that and I have not uh, gone through that yet but I just want to show you how easy it was uh, to make this And this is what comes with it. You get a nice background. Um, you've got your file manager. You've got your internet. Uh, you've got some sort of email. Um, I don't know what that is. Apparently you have a music player. Uh, these I'm familiar with. Uh, and like I said, uh, this came with the download that I got from Michael Larson. Uh, the other download I would have had to install these and I just didn't feel like taking the time on the basic download. Um, you've got your GIMP image editor, uh, another player, there's your software center, your settings, and a terminal if you need it. Uh, so that's basically uh, the Ubuntu and I am not going to be using this. I want to go back to the Android. I want to try to make this um, LCD touchscreen work. And I found out that the power button uh, does not work in the power button slot, but it does work in the reset, so I will solder that in. <laughs> I'll probably make a video on that when I feel like incinerating my board, um, but I'm going to hold off on that. It, it actually works. It's just punched down right now, and I can reset it uh, when I want. But for uh, right now, um, it is just laying in its little uh, pinholes. I will try to do uh, create the same operating system on my Ubuntu laptop, but I'm not holding that much hope. Uh, it's a really old laptop, and it wouldn't work on anything else. I'd upgraded it to Windows 7, which was a huge mistake uh, for a netbook because XP was no longer supported and it pretty much stopped working altogether so Ubuntu was my only uh, other option and I was running Ubuntu off of a um, thumb drive for quite a while and it was just uh, really not working so I installed it right over top of the operating system I had recently and then upgraded to 16 so it's actually somewhat functioning but it'll probably take forever to download these files, so I will make another video uh, when I get a chance, and uh, or add to this one.